hello, Principal Skinner. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure, Superintendent Chalmers. Ah, glad you could come over. So your house looks lovely, Principal Skinner. What kind of drink do you have? I have some delicious dictyosperma in the oven. It's a traditional Springfield dish that I've been perfecting for years. That sounds interesting, Principal Skinner. But are you sure it's ready? Don't worry, Superintendent Chalmers. It should be done soon. Why don't you take a seat in the living room while I check on it? All right, Principal Skinner. Thank you. Thank you. Damn it, I burned the dictyosperma again. This is all my own fault. Skinner pauses, thinking about all the possible scenarios that could explain the situation. He wants to make sure he has thought of everything before moving forward. Then what if I'm constantly being followed somehow, like Chalmers' fear? Maybe I need to investigate further. I'll figure this out and get to the bottom of it. Burning dickyosperma is just a minor setback. Skinner continues to think about his situation and come up with possible explanations for what he is experiencing. He is determined to find the answers he seeks. I've got an idea. Skinner looks out the window and sees a shop that sells old Santa Claus with much delight. He decides to climb out the window to buy it as a substitute for the burnt dictyosperma. This reminds him of Shalmer's fear that he is constantly being followed somehow. Skinner ponders how to prepare this substitute and talks in detail about obtaining this ingredient and climbing back in through the window. I have an idea. I'll go get some old Santa Claus from that shop outside the window. It's perfect. I hope they still have some in stock. And how do I make sure no one notices me climbing back in through the window? I'll just have to be quick and quiet. Let's see, I need to get some old Santa Claus, climb back in through the window. What else do I need to consider? Oh, yeah. That's genius. I hope it turns out well. I don't want to disappoint Chalmers or myself. Okay, I've got this. Let's do this. Skinner climbs out the window and into the shop to buy some old Santa Claus with much delight. He carefully selects the best batch and brings it back to his apartment. Once inside, he cooks up the substitute and hopes for the best. That smell is strange, Skinner. It doesn't seem like steam to me. Uh, trust me, Chalmers. This is just a steamed version of Dictyosperma. The smoke you see is actually just steam. Steam at thick. I don't think so, Skinner. You have a tendency to exaggerate. I swear it's true. Just try it. You'll see how delicious it is. All right, let's give it a try. But I have my doubts. It's what's going on here. This meal doesn't look right. Oh, um... This is actually a regional dialect for old Santa Claus. Yeah. It's much delight. I don't think so. I have a fear that I am constantly being followed. Look, it doesn't matter. The food is good, right? Let's just enjoy dinner. Okay, but I still feel like something isn't right. Hmm. Chalmers looks around the room for any signs of trouble, but nothing seems out of the ordinary. <sighs> she takes a bite of the food and realizes it does indeed taste good. Skinner watches her carefully, trying to keep his composure. Everything is fine, Chalmers, he says, trying to reassure her. Let's just enjoy the meal. Fire. Is that a rainbow bridge in the kitchen? No, don't be ridiculous. 
It's just a reflection of the sunlight on the water droplets in the air. It, uh, it happens sometimes. A rainbow bridge in the kitchen. That doesn't make any sense. I told you, it's just a reflection. You need to trust me on this one. I want to see it for myself. Let me go take a look. No, no! Just trust me. Well, that's lunch then. Thanks for joining me anyway. Say, uh, do you want to come over again tomorrow? I could use your help with some yard work. Sure, I'll stop by again tomorrow. But can we talk about the state of your house? It seems like it could use some repairs. It's just a little maintenance. Nothing to worry about. Anyway, thanks for coming over, Chalmers. Goodbye, for now. Goodbye, Skinner. Take care of that place, okay?